Okay, folks, this is a mock-up of the shuttle itself. We'll give you a little tour in case people don't know what the space shuttle consists of here. Okay, this is the orbiter, what we consider to be the space shuttle. Now, it has several different parts. Up here, that's the uh, crew cabin and the nose, of course. Now, this is the payload bay where the Columbus is going to be going. And down here, if you look closely, the space shuttle, those big things there, right there? There's three of them. Those are the main engines. Now, the main engines use a swimming pool full of water, or full of fuel, that much water, every 25 seconds for eight minutes while it reaches space. Okay, folks, this is the external tank. Remember I said that it takes a swimming pool of fuel every 25 seconds? Well, naturally, it's got to be enormous to fit that much fuel. And you see these things down here? Those are what attaches the tank to the, um, the engines down below. The engines are down there. And the whole thing will, there's little explosive bolts in the actual space shuttle. And once it's used all its fuel, it, the bolts will break off in space. And then the tank will fall to Earth and burn up in the atmosphere. And these are the solid rocket boosters. There's two of them strapped to either side of the tank. And they're in four segments. I don't know if you can see they're in four segments with a nose cone. And this is what propels, this is actually what lifts the vehicle off of the ground. Because you see, in order for the engines to work, they need all that fuel. But the engines, which work great in space, can't, don't really work too good on the ground. They don't have enough energy to propel themselves and their fuel source to the sky. So they have the solid rocket boosters. And they bring, they, they burn for two minutes and they propel the orbiter to space. This is the Columbus. This is what is going to be hoisted up in Atlantis's payload bay. Remember? Payload means because it costs money. A shuttle doesn't come for free, people. It's got to hoist stuff up and its destination is the International Space Station and this is going to be a part of it. The shuttle is the only vehicle on Earth currently that has the size and strength and capability to bring these kind of things up to the sky. See, look, here's Columbus. It's going to go to the International Space Station. Apollo, Apollo yes. Nasfali. Yes. Now you were on the Discovery? Yes. yes. Hoisting Harmony to the Heavens? That's, That's right. I, I watched that launch right from here. Good for you. Now you're from Italy? Yes, from Italy, European Space Agency, Italian. Sure. What part of Italy are you from? I'm from Milan. Uh, Milan? Oh, okay. My family's from Sicily. All right. That's right. Well, anyway, it was nice meeting. I'm glad, I'm glad you made it safe back. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. D minus 31 seconds. Handoff to Atlantis onboard computers has occurred. Fifteen seconds. Main safety systems armed. Sound suppression system water activated. T minus ten, nine, eight. Go for main engine start. Seven, six. Main engine ignition. Four, three, two, one. Zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis as Columbus sets sail on a voyage of science to the space station. Houston down right shoulder. Great. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Columbus weighs anchor from its port in Florida. Atlantis on the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station.
acknowledged by Commander Steve Frick, joined on the and flight deck by Pilot Allen, pointing next to Rex Walheim and Leland Melvin. Seated down on the mid deck are Stan Love and Hans Schlegel and Leopold Ayards of the European Space Agency. Ayards hitching a ride to his new home on the International Space Station. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already 15 miles in altitude, 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, traveling 2,000 miles an hour. Maximum aerodynamic pressure on the spacecraft, in other words, are going to the thicker part of the atmosphere, so max Q, that's one of those uh, massive... Three good main engines, that's that's three good fuel cells, three auxiliary, three auxiliary power three units, all functioning normally. Up, so it's possible to damage the vehicle, so they take the engine and they throttle them back. Standing so by for solid rocket booster separation. Things things start to thin out, they gun the engines back up again, and now the shuttle will continue in about... Uh, Second or two, we're going to see main engine uh, rocket booster separation. And we'll listen to that from mission control. Second. Booster officer confirms good solid rocket booster separation. Good stable. 